Good morning, everybody. It's July 9th, and I wanted to make a little video today and respond to a question that somebody asked on my last video, which is uh, essentially, how do you set up a pasture? Like, how do you start up a pasture from scratch? This person's looking into buying some land and uh, having cows on it, and I was uh, describing how good our pasture looks and how happy the cows are on it, which you can see right now. And um, and so the person was asking, how, how do you get to that point? So basically, the short answer is rotational grazing. Rotational grazing, um, if you look that up, but um, in a nutshell, it's a system of moving the cows through the pasture at a rate that you determine. So you don't just put the cows on the pasture and leave them there. You can see this field that we have. We don't just um, leave the cows out here to do their own thing. You basically control what parts of the field they have access to and how, how much, how long, how often. And that's why you see this electric fence here. That's what they're doing. So basically, if you look at this patch here, see how it looks like the grass is matted down and it's all eaten down and trampled. And that's a good thing. The cows were just here in the couple, the last couple of days. And, um, and now this morning after I milked, I just opened up this little patch for them, which you can see the difference. The grass is tall. There's the clovers there. You know, they're really excited about it. They're loving it. And so rotational grazing is doing that, managing the pasture in such a way that basically everybody benefits. So if I just put the cows here without doing rotational grazing, I just let them do their own thing, basically what would happen is they would only eat the things that they really like and they would eat that over and over, basically um, just eating them down to the ground and certain things they wouldn't eat because they don't prefer that. And then um, they would, you know, they would manure certain spots only. And then um, basically the land would eventually degrade. You know, they would end up hanging out in certain spots, maybe where it's shadier or, um, you know. So with rotational grazing, what you're doing, you basically making them um, access the land at an even rate you know so they're they're getting access for a short amount of time to um, different patches of the land and they're eating that down they're trampling the grass which is really good for the soil so it doesn't bake in the sun where it's bare and um, and everything's done kind of evenly and then the land has a chance to not only is it getting fertilized by their manure and their urine it's getting fertilized in an even way not more in certain spots and less in others so that kind of fertility encourages the land to uh, better become better and better so um so basically this the short answer to the question that this person asked is uh, Look into rotational grazing, get your animals and start doing that. And with that system, even land there that is in pretty bad shape will eventually, um, you know, if you give it time and if you do your grazing properly, will, the land will, will get better and better. And eventually you get to a pasture that looks really good. Um, so this pasture we've been grazing for three years and it was nowhere near this good when we started up with it. You know, so right now it's, it's, there's a lot of clover, there are different grasses in here, you know, there's a lot of diversity, which is a really good thing for a pasture. And you could tell that the cows are loving it. And really all we did was, um, you know, just put them in here and keep rotating them. And their fertility, the fertility of the land has gone up over the past three years and also just the cows being on the land uh, what that does you know they they scoff up the the soil and the seed bank that's in the soil so for instance this clover that's here now that they love 
we didn't see this and it wasn't here when we started but it has come up on its own throughout the years because um you know the seed back bank that's in the soil it it gets to come up as the cows go over it and also if you're feeding any hay you know that the seeds that are in that hay will eventually um, come up in your pasture so um that's kind of you know that's my answer as far as you know if, if you don't have time to let the pasture come up on its own and you really need to get in there well i guess one thing i should mention is let's say you're starting with pretty degraded land that doesn't have much feed value for the cows so as you're rotating the cows through that land um, you may have to for you know the first year or so you may have to feed supplemental hay you know, if they're not getting enough nutrition off of the land because it's in such bad shape, you may have to give them hay, but keep rotating them. And that's only going to be temporary because, like I said, eventually um, the pasture itself will come up and uh, we'll be able to sustain them. But if you don't have time to, to let the pasture kind of um, come up to a state where it can sustain your animals, then you could seed the pasture, you know, you could get in there with um, seeding equipment, like a drill, you know, I'm not, we haven't really done much of that. So I know you can do it, but um, you know, depending on how big of an area you're thinking of doing and uh, what kind of equipment you have, you, you could look into that and see what kind of seeding techniques you can use. All right. So I'm going to end here, but I hope this answered some questions about how to start up a pasture. Oh, and I also want to just quickly add that this fencing that you see here, this electric fencing, the strands, the poles, um, they're really pretty cheap and so easy to set up that um, our daughters who you know were like eight and nine at the time when we first got the cows they were doing it so it's 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 uh, fairly easy i mean you got to get out there and do it every time like twice a day we do it so that is definitely a commitment and something you got to keep up with but it's not it's not hard it's just the time if you want to put the time into it then it's good and the other thing i wanted to also mention is that these guys, you know, you see how good they look. They're not disgustingly dirty. Their coats are shiny. You know, they, they're looking really good. And, and honestly, we haven't had any kind of vet problems with them. We've never called a vet uh, for, for anything, you know, other than they, uh, they get some vaccines and they get dehorned and castrated. So other than that, we haven't had any illnesses or anything with them, any parasites, which I think is pretty unusual if you look at, um, at grazing, at other kind of systems where the cows are just left in a barn or they're just left on a piece of land without any rotation. Uh, you know, I think you'll see a totally different picture there where uh, you need to put in a lot of time and money into vet bills and, and managing disease and stuff like that. All right. So um, have a great weekend, everybody, and see you guys soon.